man finds hidden gold mine on his new property, realizes buying the land was a huge mistake. When buying a huge property, someone would think the owner's first move is to walk around and take notice of what's on his new land. Well, Christopher Wanless couldn't really do that since his property spread over 16.5 hectares of woodland. However, during one of his strolls, he would soon realize his purchase was a terrible mistake. When Christopher began looking around his new property, he had no idea that it also included the entrance of a tunnel. His curious nature had the best of him, but it was what made him regret buying the property. What was wrong with it? Thinking that the entrance led to a treasure, Christopher was eager to go inside the tunnel and search for it. However, he would never forget the terrible moments he spent inside the tunnel. Those memories haunt him to this day. As Christopher walked towards the odd entrance, he was perplexed because when he bought the property, nobody told him of this place. From the entrance, it looked as if it was an abandoned mine. His curiosity was piqued. Was Chris actually looking at the entrance of a gold mine? He rushed back home to get a flashlight and began his discovery. What he didn't know was that wasn't a good idea, in fact, the realtor told him on the phone not to go inside the tunnel. But the new owner didn't listen to him and he no regrets it. The realtor recalled during the phone conversation that there were more entrances scattered across Chris' property, but advised no to enter them. He wasn't sure if these tunnels were safe. But Chris could only think of Indiana Jones and these kinds of adventures. When we bought the house, nobody ever told us about the fact that the estate had a lot of mines on it. We just sort of stumbled upon the gold mine one day and that was it, recalled Chris in an interview later on. Now he wishes he had thought twice about entering that mine. When I first saw it, I was so excited that I almost fell over myself. The only thing that I could think about was Indiana Jones and Underground Railroads, Chris said. As he shined his flashlight over the walls, he was sure he would find a treasure inside the tunnel, so he walked deeper inside. Chris saw that the walls were sparkly, realizing he was actually walking into a gold mine, his gold mine. As Chris was considering his newly found treasure embedded into the walls, he realized he walked deep into the tunnel and still couldn't see the end of it. Then, he realizes he was not alone in that mine. Then, out of the blue, he heard some noises in the tunnel. Thinking someone was inside, Chris followed the noise, deeper into the mine. It sounded like it was made by a machinery, so Chris decided to call out and announce his presence not to scare whoever was down there. He only heard his echo. All alone, so deep into the mine, Chris had a strange feeling. He recalls, the ambient temperature also seemed to suddenly drop all around me at this point, and I felt an even stronger negative presence ahead in the tunnel. Was he imagining things? After going 150 feet deep into the tunnel, Chris decided to call it a day and get back out. As he turned towards the entrance, he saw the daylight shine back at him. It was a peaceful afternoon, until Chris saw the chains from the tunnel move as if they had a life of their own. As soon as the chains swung, with no wind making them move like that, Chris freaked out and ran back home. He then called to learn more about the property and see if what he experienced was only in his imagination. When we went to ask about the place, we were finally told that the estate had actually been home to quite a lot of mining sites. A lot of mining was done in these hills at the turn of the century, and there are a lot of little mines that are scattered across the hills," said Chris. He spoke with the agent, who promised they would send someone to inspect the tunnel. Then, something even more strange happened. Chris was then contacted by Mr. Rudel, who was with the real estate agency that he previously called. Together, they went to the cave to check the sparkly walls. That's when Chris learned that it was indeed a gold mine, where miners haven't finished their work. Why did they abandon the mine? Did they too sense something was off about that place? Chris didn't the mine was haunted, so he decided to take his flashlight and advance 600 feet into the mine. There, he found a door and as he opened it, he realized he was looking at a pile of rubble. Only it wasn't really rubble. By the looks of the junk, it seemed as if someone had used that secret room as a living quarter. Chris saw a makeshift bed spread among other things. As he held the flashlight, he took a look at the walls, where he saw some scratches. They looked like they were done by fingernails. And then, he saw a message on the other side of a wall. The message was difficult to decipher and as soon as Chris felt another rush of cold air and a metallic noise reaching him, he knew he had to run back home. As crazy as it sounded, Christopher knew that the mine wasn't abandoned for no reason. All the negative vibes inside and the noises led him to the answer, the gold mine was haunted. To get rid of whatever haunted the mine, 
Chris found out on Google that he had to face it. Chris grabbed the camera and mustered enough courage to face whatever was in the mine. Reaching the entrance, he began taking these photos. Going deeper, all of a sudden, the chains began swinging rhythmically. His courage left him and Chris couldn't take it any longer. Chris realized this paranormal activity was too spooky for him and decided to just sell the property, no matter what. He even let his mother take care of the sale, not wishing to stay on that land a second more. Was Christopher a witness to paranormal activity or was someone really living inside the mine? We'll never know it.